Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle Elders, a great millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there who are pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shot there from the Chicago camp. Coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. All right. And this, uh, this video I just so happened to check out today is from this guy, Dave Hodges. You know, I watch his channel a lot. He comes out with a lot of very interesting and condemning subject matter as far as it pertains to the economy and, you know, shedding the light on uh, Bad Uncle Esau's wickedness. Okay, and today's subject matter for this video that he's going to go into for, I believe this is about a, yeah, about a two minute and 41 second video, but the, the main portion of the video is probably from zero to two minutes. But in any case, the title of this video is called A New Form of Currency for Renting Apartments to Millennials. And it was an interesting video because not only is it talking about the downfall of this economy, but it's also talking about the desperation that people are now having to resort to just to be able to provide some type of living for themselves, all right? And instead of explaining it, I'm just going to play the video, and when I pause it, I'll probably give either a brief commentary or bring out some scripture. So with that, let us play the video. Millennials are broke, a lot of them. This is why approaching 40% of them are living in their parents' basement. I don't begrudge all of them. I think some of them do suffer from a lack of ambition. Some of them just bad luck, place, wrong time. Regardless. And, and that's true, you know. You know, we got a lot of, and I'm just going to stick to Jake in this specific reference, but... You know, you, you got a lot of Jakes out there that are, that don't want to work, okay? And the ones that call themselves trying to work, you know, they're, they're, they're too ashamed to go to a job that pays like 10, 11, 12 something dollars an hour. Now, granted, it's not much, but it's a legit living. But you have to also think on the other hand, all right? For many of the people, now I'm talking about everybody, but many of the people here in America, there are no jobs, okay? With all these millionaires and billionaires picking up and leaving these big major cities, all right, with uh, Slick Willie, Bill Clinton, putting in that uh, NAFTA agreement, you got a lot of these jobs that are outsourced, okay? And instead of paying an American uh, a $60,000 salary to do some type of job, you know, now they got somebody over in Bangladesh or, or, or Dubai paying them like $3, $4 an hour, if that, to do the same job. So in essence, I do understand that in this day and age, there really aren't a lot of jobs left, okay? And that goes with the precept in Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, when it talks about the grinding. Let me get that real quick. I believe it's Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, and the 4th verse, okay? And it says, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. Right. The, the sound of the grinding is low. All right. When you go downtown, 
you'll see so many buildings with posters and decorative paper saying uh, this management company now leasing or for rent called this uh, realty company. or it, it, It's some type of fancy colored paper, but it's always advertising that for inquiries for this empty rental space or leasing space, you can call this company and set something up and then you'll be able to put a business there. You know, not to mention that these jobs really aren't trying to hire anybody. Most of the time, it's just a scam just to say, oh, yeah, well, you know, we've brought some people in, but, you know, there, there's nothing really going on right now. It's just it's just a scam. OK, and it says. And he shall rise up in the voice. Rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low because back in the day when there used to be jobs, okay, you would see people walking down the street and whistling and humming a tune or you would just see a huge smile on their face because they were getting up and they were going to a job that even if it wasn't the best job or their ideal job. You know, they were happy because they were able to provide a living for themselves or their families, whatever the case may be. But now it's not so. You know, folks are depressed, all right, stressed out, popping pills and drinking. And now it's getting to a point where they're they're resorting to certain measures that they normally wouldn't do because times are so desperate. And this video is about to get into it. So let me continue are being exploited in ways that we never dreamed of. Hi everybody, this is Dave Hodges of the Common Sense Show, the show that is freeing America one enslaved mind at a time. I could scarcely believe it when I read an obscure article recently that said that millennials are broke, they're trying to rent their own places, and landlords who have filled buildings near occupancy, you know, they're charging them not cryptocurrency, not in gold, but they're using a very unique trade and barter system to bring in some millennials. And this is keeping attorney generals busy across the country. And I'm thinking, where have I been? I wasn't invited to this party. I've never heard of this before until now. But I've been able to verify that this is a concern for law enforcement. Millennials across the country in various locations are being rented apartments in exchange for sexual favors. And can we become any more decadent than that? And we wonder if we're a nation under judgment. I don't think I need to say any more than that. You know, my heart goes out to the millennials that feel they're in that position where they got to compromise themselves to this degree. And to the attorney generals across the United States, put these landlords in prison for a very long time. Well, that's it. For the Common Sense Show, we're brought to you by Get the Tea. Get the Tea is fantastic because it's the best detox. Right. Okay. Now, you just heard that. This man just told you that things are so bad as far as millennials. And I'm sure it's just not just millennials, but I'm sure it's affected them more because they were born at a time where it really just, I mean, it's always sucked here. In America, but it's really terrible now. But I'm sure there are older people, but it's mostly the millennials that they're born in a time where, like I said, there are no jobs. And as he's saying, these millennials are resorting to desperate measures. Basically, they're they're prostituting themselves. Now, he doesn't say specifically where there is a man or a woman doing this thing. I wouldn't doubt if it's both. All right. That they have an apartment and then things are are good for a certain period of time. But then for some odd reason, if they get fired from their job, you know, and they're trying to find means of payment and they can't and they inform their landlord, hey, you know, I, I just lost my job. I do got some Tim work, but it's no, it's not the money that I used to bring in. I'm really trying to 
get this money so I can stay. And then, you know, the landlord in his own sick and exploitive way is just like, well, you know, you don't have to you you don't have to pay with money. You know, there are other ways of payment. And I'm sure once they talk about it, like, what do you mean? Like, uh, I'll work for you and pay this off and it's fair and square for the month or. And then the landlord's like, no, 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 I got something better. I'm, I'm going to need you to bust that thing open. And then. I mean, when when you put a person in a situation like that, they'll they'll of course they gonna bust that thing open. Whether it's a, a a woman or a man, as sick as it is to say that for a man, all right. But they're gonna bust that thing open because nobody wants to be homeless. Anybody in their right mind does not want to be homeless. Okay, and we're gonna get that. And we're going to go to Sirach, the 21st chapter, no, the 29th chapter in the 21st verse. It says, the chief thing for life is water and bread and clothing and a an house to cover shame because it is a shame when somebody is homeless. All right. Because people frown down upon it because it's like, what are you doing that you, you don't even want to at least keep a roof over your head? All right. What is it about you that you can't get up to even want to protect yourself from the extreme heat or the extreme cold or, or the, the rain, the snow or even the the element of danger where you can risk being robbed? All right. But this is what America ha has reduced itself to. All right. Now, not that this is anything new. We all know that guys and girls been busting that thing open to to to, to provide a living for themselves. But I'm sure the reason why he brings this up is because now this. How do you say this problem is becoming so vastly prevalent that it can't be ignored? All right. There was even an article a while back. Uh, I can't remember where I read it or I heard it where you got girls uh, who are going to school and who have uh, high student loans. You know, they, they busting that thing open to these older men who got money. So they can pay off their uh, school loans. So, I, I mean, that goes to show you the, the time that we're in. All right. And it's only going to get worse. But hey, here in Babylon, you know that that's what you get. So that's all I wanted to say on this. So with that being said, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. With that, I want to say Shabbat.